And just when I think the day is over, I start hearing about the dumbest thing I've heard in a long time for the Bassmaster Elite. That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team. I'm going to make this as short as, as possible. Within the schedule that the Bassmaster Elite uh, distributed today in their press release, there was a uh, one line and that one line said new for this year, the no information rule for tournament waters will go into effect January 1st, 2025 at 1201 AM. I really try to be as unbiased as possible, but this is something that really has blown up my phone in the last hour and a half, two hours, and it's 9.30 Eastern Standard Time right now. And, and if you're not privy to what this rule is, is this rule allows anglers to go out and buy waypoints and buy uh, spots and go to guides and do all sorts of things to gain information on those waterways before the tournament start or until January 1st. This was one of the major controversies for 2024. And we all assumed, and that's probably made the main part of it, is that we assumed that bass would make this right. Last year or this year, there were several rookies that were in the opens that were able to, that knew they were going to qualify for the elites and they went out and purchased these waypoints and spots and hired guides and did everything that they could to gather information about the waters or the places they were going to fish. And as an elite angler, you're not allowed to do this, but as an open angler, you were allowed to do this. And when anglers found out about this, it became a big controversy and something that pissed off everybody. It isn't fair that the open anglers could go do this when the elite anglers couldn't. And when the controversy started and the anglers admitted to it, the veteran anglers took offense to it because then the polygraphs meant nothing and they were able to get this information and really jump start their careers. But again, it was allowed. And we all assumed that this rule would be changed. Now again, I'm not a pro angler. I can just tell you that I've had 15 bass anglers text me in the last hour and a half, two hours. And this no information rule is bullshit. One, to start off with, it's going to piss off so many anglers, it's not even funny. I've already seen comments from several anglers, even some that I don't ever talk to. They have said, this is one of the worst decisions Bass has ever made. Number two, why this rule wasn't immediately changed makes zero sense and when you don't change it it actually makes me and several other fans and anglers question the validity of the people making these decisions are they competent are they competent enough to make what's right done are they competent enough to do what's right. Third, a lot of anglers came and texted me and said they need to be looking outside of bass to fish in the future. And there's going to be a lot of anglers that take advantage of this because they should. It sucks to say that, but honestly, anglers should go out and do it. If they're gonna stay with the elites in 2025, take advantage of all the things that bass will allow you to take advantage of. 
And if you fail a polygraph because of it, all you have to say is, you allowed me to get this information during our off season. I think this takes away from the integrity of the sport and hobby and bass. I don't think you can have integrity when you allow this rule to keep going on until January 1st. This was a no-brainer decision to change. And it's so completely disappointing that bass didn't stick up for these anglers. That's what it comes down to. Bass isn't listening to what these anglers are saying. This was brought up in their Wednesday, that Wednesday meeting. They talked about this. This is something that's gone on and talked about on podcasts and Facebook and social media nonstop this year. Bass knew about this decision. Bass knew that the anglers wanted this changed. And what do they do? They make it till January 1st. And while January 1st is not too far around the corner, but that's three months of, you want to know what, going out, fishing as much as you can at that place. Why not? Why wouldn't you, if you're a classic competitor for the 2025 season, why wouldn't you drive right now and get down there and start fishing where the classic is? Why wouldn't you? Winning the classic is the biggest thing. And you should take advantage of it. But Bass made a big mistake with this one. This one sucks. It sucks for the anglers, mostly. But it really stinks for us, too, as fans. This is a horrible decision on Bass's part. And I, I just don't get it. I really just don't get it. My tone is even completely different in this video. Because I am just deflated at this point in time. And the anglers that I talked to, I'm really sorry. This is crap. It's bullshit for y'all. It's bullshit. I don't get it. Just when I think we're trying to make steps forward, we just take giant steps backwards. And I would question the people who are making the rules up for bass right now. Who are these people? Why would they make this dumb mistake? I don't get it. Anyway, it's late. I've done so many videos today, I don't even know what to say. But I thank you guys for watching, and I really appreciate everybody. So, uh, I'm just going to say, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for everything, and cheers.